up? This is Sid coming to you from my back porch. This is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon, and I wanted to shoot this video. I believe it's going to be a pretty powerful video for folks. It's about the concept of decision making. Now, every day we all make decisions, whether they be truly meaningful or meaningless. And people may think, oh, did I make the right decision? They're contemplating it, and other people may say, oh, you made the right decision, or you did make the right decision. I want to put some end to this whole this whole cycle. And I want to I want to give you my tip on how to make the right decision in the moment. <clears throat> so first and foremost, before I tell you how to make the right decision, you will never know if you make the right decision until the outcome happens, right? You're all trying to achieve a certain goal. And that's why you make a decision to achieve that goal, right? Ultimately, if you make a decision and if the outcome's gonna come in twenty four hours or ninety days or a year, or five years, whatever it is. In that next 24 hours, right, once once you make a decision and that 24 hour passes, you will know whether you succeeded or you failed and you made the right decision or you didn't make the right decision. So when you make the decision, anybody can tell you whatever heck they want and you may think whatever you want, but you will never know if you made the right decision or not until that 24 hours is up or that 90 days is up or that year is up, whatever it is. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, remember that. Now, I'm gonna, remember that as I tell you how I believe you make the right decision so that you you achieve mental clarity in the moment right until because you're going to make you have to make a decision and you won't know until it's right or wrong so here's how i believe you you can make the right decision for yourself and here we go i'm going to use an example that's pretty broad but basic enough to understand uh, i'm a part of an organization where recently we had to make a decision to achieve a certain goal and we could take two approaches one was the extremely conservative approach and two we could have gone crazy buck wild throw everything we can think of plus the kitchen sink that was the second approach and what we did is we asked ourselves is like okay if we are to fail what are we more comfortable with having done and ultimately we end up failing like what do you if we, will, if we are to fail which one are we more comfortable with failing at and we ultimately pick the second one you know let's go crazy buck wild and throw the kitchen sink at everything Ultimately, we ended up failing, okay? But what it did for us is this, is during, in that process, it, you know, we made the decision, and, and I'm just going to say, we made a decision, and in that month until, you know, we knew we knew the outcome was going to be successful or a failure. In that month, we knew the approach we were going to take, and we went hard at it, we, we committed to it, and we just, we, 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 were in a, we were in a very comfortable position as a team. Ultimately, it was the wrong decision. But once we realized it was the wrong decision, we were okay with it because at the time we we made the decision knowing this, right? Like if we're if we're gonna fail, which one are we, or which one are we going to say? Looking back on the whole situation, you know what? It was ultimately still a good move on our part. We 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 did what we thought was right, and were what we were more comfortable with doing because we could have gone with a conservative approach. And had we failed, we would have been much more upset because I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm very okay with us having failed, and I was very okay with it then too, when it, when the failure actually happened, and so was the team. But had we taken the conservative approach, there would have been a lot more turmoil, a lot more problems that probably would have happened. So that's my that's my tip for you is when you when you're making decisions, you know, make the one that is that that ultimately, if you are to fail, because ultimately, remember, we're all trying to achieve success, no one's trying to fail, but if you are to fail. You know, which one are you more comfortable with failing with? Saying you've done plan A or plan B, right? Because for, for all that matter, we could have taken the conservative approach and it could have been, you know what, we would rather be conservative than go all out, you know, and had we failed, it would have been, uh, I'd still be saying the same thing to you, right? I hope this makes sense. Make the decision that if you are to fail, you're okay with failing, okay? This is Sid, signing off. Talk to you soon.